Ben Rosillo of ESPN Radio's Rosillo and Canal. So, first of all, what do you make of Popovich's comments saying the Warriors are the best team in the league? Well, he's not wrong. I'm not going to come on here and say, well, there's three teams seeing him do this without Durant. It's interesting because when he first came into the league, he was kind of the darling. Like, everyone loved him, and, and now it's kind of it's kind of switched. And maybe That's what happens, right? Yeah. Yes, that's what, that's what we do. From the villain. Yeah, that's what, uh, that's <laughs> yeah. what Jay's we do. big on that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, speaking of guys who might be MVP or want to be, Russell Westbrook, 38th triple-double last season, uh, of the season last night, including 57 points. Mark Jackson told Scott Van Pelt, it should be a co-MVP. Russ and, and James Harden. Like, yeah. What about no. team MVP? Yeah. Like, how about 30? Th yeah. I like so that way no one's left out. <laughs> there we go. Let's just, it's like elementary school. Everybody, everybody gets, gets a certificate. Sure. Everybody gets a go. medal. Everybody yeah. gets a, a ribbon. Maybe you're uh, right. Let's shift gears to the NFL. <laughs> oh, uh, 1 p.m. Eastern on ESPN Radio. And then sometimes you're on ESPNU and ESPN News. You're on ESPN Regular the other day. We're never like on you guys ESPNU. Just, no? Never on you? You're, you're lying. Sure. Telling lies. Uh, Shout out research, to you, though. My research was faulty. <laughs> It says, thanks, Ryan. I don't feel like I want to do that. Uh, okay. You want me to start? No, I'll do it. I'll just, do it. I'm just looking at you. Sounds, sounds <laughs> Lovingly. Right. See, 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 they rolled it back to you. That's your part. You want to go? Yep. Sounds no, of our top. We'll sounds, read it. Sounds of our top <laughs> stories. Sports Center AM rolls on this morning. Alongside Jamie Sire and Judas, I'm Randy Scott. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's nothing quite like being completely surprised by something or someone. Like you don't say. Did you know? Yeah, no. the prompter. We do it all the time on the show. Surprise! <laughs> Uh, for members of the Oregon and Gonzaga men's basketball teams, having Kobe Bryant drop She's in for really a loud. surprise visit ahead of the final four what? games this weekend. What? It was a memory that will last a lifetime. Oh, okay. It's our top surprise. We're going to put, like, your hand on top of oh, our hands, like in the movie oh, Over the Top, oh, you know, I know. Hulk Hogan, whatever I, I that was. I failed you. Flip that. that around. Yeah. yeah. So that's how I was supposed to start it. was like it. a false start. He got uh, me quick there. He kind of got in there before. Quick snap. Yeah, yeah, quick snap. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Well, we'll, we'll move on from that. Uh, Thank let's, you. Let's talk about real football. Let's talk about Cam Newton. News yesterday that his surgery went well on his partially torn rotator cuff in his throwing shoulder. Shoulder. Obviously, he's known for his physical play and the strong throwing arm. How do you expect this to affect him going forward? Well, all on time more. All right. Speaking of Eli, it was Dan Graziano who said that there are some teams in the NFC who might be looking at this year's quarterback draft class and, and using it to prepare for the future. So maybe not a guy who's going to start this season or next, but maybe down the line. Now, in that role, how does that play on the starting quarterback's psyche when you sort of see your replacement or potential replacement getting drafted? Yeah, it's an interesting thing. It win right away everybody any quarterback is going to want first round talent up front on the offensive line prolong everybody's career maybe even the coaches Matt thank you very much coming up we do have Stephen A. Smith set to join us next his comments on Scottie Pippen's words on his former head coach Phil Jackson